Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to Unreal Films. Today we're going to continue our Final Cut Pro 10.2.1 tutorials and in this tutorial we're going to cover Rate Conform. Now the best way to explain this is if we launch Final Cut and go ahead to your event, your project and uh, select a clip. Now uh, go ahead and go to your right hand side here and go to and open the inspector tab and uh, if you go to the video um, option here and you go to the very bottom now you'll sh you'll either see you you'll either see or not see rate conform. It honestly only appears when the actual uh, frame rate of the, uh, for example, of clip that you have selected does not match or fully match the rate of your project or the frame rate of your project. So when you created your project, you most likely or when you first dragged a clip into your project, you most likely had to choose. A frame rate for that project. Now you can go all the way to 60 frames per second or just to do standard 30 frames per second. Now sometimes when you import clips they're less or more frame frame um, frames per second. So for example um, that if it, it's different than your project set you'll you'll have this rate conform option here. For example this clip basically I believe it's it's less frame rate than my actual project. I believe my project is if you you can actually check the frame rate of your project by going to just simply selecting on your clicking on your project here just and then you'll be able to see the options here for example it's a 1080p and it says 60 frames per second project so there's no way my video here that this clip selected is 60 frames per second that's why we have this option rate conform option so in order to uh, the the way you're going to use this is floor is the standard the default and that's basically it's going to do its best to match um, the frame rate to your actual project by uh, rounding the nearest integer to the nearest <laughs> integer closest and it's going to basically try to make it smooth with the other clips now that neighbor na uh, floor and the nearest neighbor are very similar nearest neighbor is basically it's going to round an integer to the nearest uh, number as well. For example, let's say this frame, uh, my footage here, that I, or clip here that I recorded is only 20, let's say, no, let's do 23 frames per second. And uh, this clip here, I mean, this project is 60 frames per second. You're saying, wow, that's gonna be really, really weird. But what it does is it, honestly, it'll round like to 30 frames per second and it will smoothen it, smoother it out as well. That way it makes it a lot, it makes it look good and and complete according to your project. Now, uh, also let's go down to frame blending. This comes in handy when you're actually using, um, let's say you're using, um, you're gonna first let it uh, render also when you're switching between these. It's gonna apply that, it's gotta apply that frame render. For example, since I just changed it, and this comes in handy when you're trying to do fast forward or slow motion, a uh, actual clip that doesn't have the necessary uh, frames per second in it. And what it basically, what frame blending does is it, uh, I would say, it dissolves uh, pixels as the next pixels come in. That way, it makes it look smoother, basically, as it can, as it says here, blending. Now, optical flow. I'm not gonna actually click it because it is, it is rendering right now. The frame blending optical flow is um, it's basically gonna add frames into the actual uh, clip for you and the way it does that is it okay it will take frame a and it will take frame a, B and it will see what it can add in between in order to make frame a more smoother transition to frame B so if I was to suggest any of these you would want to keep it to floor or use optical flow if you're trying to uh, fill in the space within the actual frames per second but that's the basics of the tutorial um, thank you guys for watching be sure to leave any questions in the comment section below thank you guys and later so let my life be